Hey guys, Nina Galina here, and today we'll be making French loaves. Or loaf. One, two, three. As far as the department of bread goes, this is one of the easier ones, in my opinion, anyway. It might look complicated, but give it a try. You're going to see how actually easy it is. Okay, so we're going to need a mixer for this recipe because we're not going to knead it by hand too much because the dough will be somewhat wet. I'm going to start it off with half a cup of water. We have all together two and a half cups of water. I'm just going to start my yeast a little bit with that, just half a cup of water. This is very, very warm water. Into the water, I have added one and a half tablespoons of instant yeast. Uh, you can use fresh if you like. And also I have added a half a teaspoon of sugar. I'm just gonna stir this a little bit. So I'm going to add the rest of the water, the rest of the sugar, and the salt. I have a couple of tablespoons of olive oil in here. You can use sunflower oil, whatever oil you have, I suppose. We like good olive oil, so I'm going to put half of this, which means one tablespoon of oil in here. The rest I'm going to reserve for kneading. So I'm going to put it on stir and start adding my flour. I have six cups of all-purpose unbleached flour in here. It depends on how much moisture there is in the air. You may or may not use all six cups, so don't just dump it in there. Go slowly. I'm going to use my spatula just to clean the sides off. I just want you to see what I'm doing. Just scrape the sides off your bowl. Turn your mixer to stir again. And just let it work. I keep on adding my flour until I'm happy with the consistency. I will show you later how that looks. show you how dough will start rising to the top of the hook so all you need to do is dip your fingers into that oil and push it down push it down a little bit and this is beautiful the dough is sticky but not so sticky that it's like totally sticking to your fingers see that's, that's good enough. You don't need to add any. This is how much flour we have been left with. Um, I would say uh, half a cup to a little bit more than half a cup. So let's say five and a half cups today I've used to get this consistency. It is sticky, but to the touch, it's not like stretching. First, we're gonna put some oil on the surface and put it, put our dough on it. Looks awesome. Just gonna fold it a few times. It's very smooth, very, very smooth. See, it doesn't stick. But yet, it's quite wet. Form a ball like this. Cover it with a bowl. The funny part is we're going to um, set our timer to 10 minutes and we're going to let it rise. We're going to do this four times. Yes, four times. Let's set our timer to 10 minutes. Our first 10 minutes is up. Let's go look at our dough. Our first 10 minutes is up and we're going to take a look at our dough and just slightly fold it. Ooh, it's sticking to the sides. Yes. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is just dip my fingers a little bit in the oil and pull, fold. Pull, fold, pull, fold. Okay. Flip it over to the other side. Ball. That's it. 
cover it again. Another 10 minutes. Okay, this is number two. Wow, this is doing great. Miss Worldwide. Esto aquí es para las mujeres. We're off to a third 10 minute rise. Miss Worldwide. Esto aquí es para las mujeres. It's still sticky, but it doesn't nothing stays on your fingers. That's what you're looking for. Miss <laughs> 10 more minutes and we're done. This looks beautiful. Without touching it, I'm going to split it into two. I'm gonna eyeball it. Or as many loaves that you wanna have. Ta-da! For this part, I'm gonna need a rolling pin and just a little bit of a flour. I'm going to dust my surface with the flour a little bit. Lightly press it. And I'm going to roll it out to like rectangle. Miss Worldwide. Esto aquí es para las mujeres en la discoteca que están buenísima, bellísima. Try to roll your uh, dough as rectangular as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. So next step, what I'm gonna do is the edge, I'm gonna fold over and pinch it down. Okay, I'm gonna pinch it down. And then I keep, keep doing it. But you're pinching it just at the edge over here, okay? Just keep doing it slowly until you get to the end. Miss Worldwide! Okay. There we go. And off to making another one. By all means, you don't have to use at all that fancy tray. You can just use a regular cookie sheet, put a parchment paper or a silk pad, and off you go. I just happened to buy it and I want to use it to see if there's going to be any difference in baking and how the crust is going to turn out. I'm going off to a second loaf. Miss Worldwide! Esto aquí es para las mujeres en la discoteca que están buenísima, bellísima, lindísima. Y ya tú sabes el resto. Yo se lo doy directo. <laughs> Mira que tú estás rica. I think I'm happy with the size and I'm gonna start rolling it. Remember guys, nothing has to be perfect. We are just home cooks who are trying to cook well for our family. If we're making it wrong, we're making it wrong. It's bread for us and our family, right? Miss Worldwide Esto aquí es para las mujeres En la discoteca que están Buenísima, bellísima So here they are And I usually don't Brush them with anything I just leave them as is I score the bread and that's it um, I've decided today to try something different And to brush them with the Egg, yolk and a little bit of a Olive oil And we'll see what happens you and I first. Miss Worldwide. Esto aquí es para las mujeres en la discoteca que están buenísima, bellísima. And now I'm gonna score them and let them rise. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I score. I got this little tool that I score bread with, but you can use sharp knife, scissors, whatever you have. So I hold my bread like this and score this way. Here it is, brushed with the egg and oil and scored. Now I'm just gonna leave it in the oven just so you can proof a little bit more. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go and pick up my kids. Here's our French loaf, ready to go in the oven.
here it is. Isn't it awesome? As you can see, I, can, I have put my bread onto the cooling rack. I put two cooling racks together because bread is quite long. Our bread is cooled down. Look how big it is. The other one is already half gone, more than half gone. Remember at the beginning that French pan that I used is great. It doesn't stick, um, keeps nice shape, but I found it that the bottom is very light in color. Outside is nice and crunchy. Inside is nice, soft and chewy. I don't know if you can hear it. See how soft it is? It's, it's, it's amazing, it's amazing. I hope you try it. Uh, if you do, please do comment below, give it thumbs up and subscribe if you like my videos. Thanks for watching and see you again.